Hello and welcome to another Mod Monday. Today we are actually only looking at one mod, God Herja, The Dying World. Last time when I did the uh, Lord of the Rings mod, people were not really happy that I didn't completely cover the mod. So I'm going to go into an in-depth look of this mod and this mod only for this video. And so if you guys like Mod Mondays, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But this is a cool no new total conversion mod and I thought it would be a good idea to look in detail at this mod and see what it's all about. God Herja The Dying World is a total fantasy conversion mod that is set in an original dark fantasy world poised on the edge of the end times. After killing their god in ancient times, humanity has once again shaken the fabrics of reality through the use of the world shattering magic. The world is now dying and has tribes migrate to the last lands of man and ancient empires crumble. Reality itself hangs on balance. Will you save the world or end the world? After reading the description and seeing the title, I got that it's a fantasy world where the world is dying, that the world might end, like everything's going bad, nothing's really good's happening. So you have to either decide to kind of bring the world back to its glory or you let it die or you destroy it yourself. There are five recommended starting nations, and I do in fact recommend playing one of these nations because these nations have unique decisions and other things in the game that will make the game a lot better. I decided to play the person in the bottom right, and some of the decisions I have to say are very cool and makes the game totally a total conversion mod. It makes it much different than a regular CK3 game. The backstory of this nation is that your mentor and the last ruler was assassinated and your first thing is to figure out who assassinated your ruler. You need to figure out who killed him. And so this is the first kind of thing that you have to start doing. You need to figure out who killed the last person reigning in the empire. So this is a very cool story. And after you do this, a whole entire uh, uprising happens after you accuse someone of assassinating them. This is very cool because then you also get to see that there's all of this new alliance that you have and you have to defeat this uprising because you claim that this person uh, assassinated the past ruler. So I think this is very cool. It's one of the first decisions. There's also several decisions after this that I didn't even exactly get to. But I think it's very cool because it makes the story keep going along. You can like unite the empire, free the slaves, other things like that. So I think the decisions are very cool and add a lot to the total conversion mod. I think decisions are something that Crusader Kings 3 in the base game you'll play with more and I think this mod developer did a very good job at using the decisions to spice up the game. Also in the game setup there's a whole bunch of different religions and cultures throughout the entire game. None of these are from the base game of CK3. These are all custom new religions that I think is also amazing that they added all these religion and cultures into the game. Two things added into this mod that are not in the base game are the artifacts and uh, magic menus. These are not in the base game obviously and these are things that are exclusive to this mod so it allows you to conjure up some magic and find some artifacts. I think artifacts is something that should be added to the base game because I think Imperator Rome has artifacts and that's a very cool thing and I think Crusader Kings 3 would also benefit in the base game to add artifacts and obviously magic yeah that's not going to come in the base game. Right now this mod I would have to say is completely playable. You can play this, have a run, and have a good old time. I'm going to hold away from doing a Let's Play series of this mod because there's a couple of uh, slight bugs or things that make it not fully polished or kind of bother me. One as you can see on the screen is the player movement or the character movement. It seems very sped up and very like robotic and it kind of bugs me the entire time. I do not know why this is the case but the movement seems very fast. As you can see I'm only in three speed but I feel like my units are moving at like five or four speed and four speed definitely feels like it's at five speed. There's also a lot of text errors in this mod right now where there should be a sentence or something but you have a lot of underscores and things like that in the text that make it very broken up and incomplete. But for the most part the game is completely playable. There's just some bugs and things that make it not perfect. Otherwise I would have to say this mod is very cool, very amazing. This is a mod that I'm going to keep close eyes on and will probably do a Let's Play series as well. There's a whole bunch of other total conversion mods that I want to do Let's Play series on but I'm holding back doing Let's Play series because I either think they're unpolished or unfinished and really would lead to frustration or wouldn't go too far. Another thing that I think that should be fixed right away are the declare wars. In the beginning I could declare 37 wars of people across the entire world and I think that that just doesn't make sense and you should only declare people wars nearby or even the extreme in this total conversion mod since decisions can have a lot of wars. 
you should only be able to declare wars through certain decisions, which I think would be interesting, but I don't know if that would totally work. But having to be able to declare w war on almost anyone across most of the map just kind of ruins the whole total conversion mod and the storyline, in my opinion. Overall, I think this mod's amazing, and I think you should probably pick it up yourself. Uh, it's going to have a link down in the description before in the Steam Workshop, and I will see if I can find it on the Paradox Plaza as well. I think this mod is very interesting and very cool. You guys should check it out, play it a little bit. Uh, don't have super high expectations because I think it's not completely finished yet. There's some obvious bugs and problems right on the surface, but for the most part, it's extremely fun and a lot of lore and reading. So make sure to be careful of that if you struggle with reading sometimes because I struggle with reading sometimes uh, there's a whole bunch of reading lore that I think is very cool and very in-depth and I think you guys should check it out yourself as well also the last thing I want to add is this map is absolutely beautiful I think this map looks so pretty so cool I think it's very unique and very cool so that's it for the God Herja mod. I was just wanting to do a quick little overview. If you guys like this type of mod Monday, make sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, give me a good old like and subscribe. If this is not what you like from Mod Monday, also let me know. If you like the old format better, please let me know. The only problem with the old format is I need a ton of mods to come out or else I just can't make a full video and it'd be very short. So thank you guys. Hope you had a good one. Stay safe out there and have a good uh, holidays.